SAFC Fan TV, I'm Sean Midlands, out of Stephen Knights for today's game, Sunderland versus Gillingham. The current score in the 90th minute is Sunderland 2, Gillingham 1. A result which takes Sunderland into third as the results stand, as other teams are not winning. Could you please like, share and subscribe to our channel? That would be very much appreciated. Thanks for your time. Cheers. SAFC Fan TV, I'm with Adam. Adam, obviously outside setting the equipment up yeah. and... Um, Gilliam scored a 96 minute equaliser. That's a right sickener, isn't it? Uh, they, can't, they, can't, they can't control the game. Just, there's, no, there's no game management in overscores, but we just can't defend. You know what I mean? Once, once the ball's got back in, we need to slow the game down and play at our own tempo, but obviously we didn't do that today. So, yeah. I mean, when, when Lafferty got the second, the, the, the second goal, I mean, it was, I, I, I forget now who played the ball through, but he obviously finished it well, went to and I think, I will see the game through. We were third at the time. Yeah. These are the things that define you yeah, as, no, yeah. as not going up and staying in this league. Exactly. That's the problem. We need, we need the points. You know what I mean? That is, that, without the points, we aren't going up. So I'd be in this now. What? I don't really want to be watching another, like a third season in League One, to be honest. One little criticism for the manager, um, Adam, is obviously... Partinson, he stuck with the same team apart yeah. from a change, which has been yeah. forced up on him yeah. by obviously uh, Charlie White being injured. Mm. I mean, he needs to change. He needs to change things up yeah, in the middle as well. Yeah, he does. I mean, I thought even during the game he needs to be making more. It's just he's been sticking with the same team every week, every week, and you know what I mean. Now it's it's, it's just more problem after problem after problem. He needs to change things up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, nine games to go on now. I mean, looking at before the late. Equaliser or uh, taking our well, only one point off Rotherham because they got beat 3 0. Um, it's, it's still, it's like, well, it's another, it's, it's two points drop for me, like, exactly. yeah, it is two points drop, but we just need every point we can get. We have to, we just have pretty missed our man. You know, no. uh, for me, I would say Jordan Willis. Excuse yeah. me, thanks for your time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sunderland 2, Gillingham 2. An absolute kick in the teeth right at uh, the end of the game. When you think that Sun's got the three points, unfortunately, you haven't. Uh, what's your name again, mate? Sorry. Brian. 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 You're fierce, I think your fierce tells with the highlight, to be fair. I'm um, absolutely uh, gutted. Like, I mean, that would have been a big three points after the company disappointment. We've got to learn to break these teams down, and we don't. We have all the possession, we don't score. You're not going to win games. And then you've got to have game management. Game management. You two nil, you two one up. You've got, you've got to manage that game till the end of the 90 minutes. We won last against uh, um, Fleetwood the other week. Doing exactly the same. They didn't manage the game. We scored. We've got to learn to break these teams down. I mean, got to. It's, it's getting down to nitty gritty now. I mean, there'll be, there'll be, there'll be some twists and turns now in the season. But it's a massive missed opportunity for me. Rotherham got stuffed three nil a day. I, um, but parts of it were getting beat off Peterborough. I mean, it's just it's, a, it's another missed opportunity. It's just the same as last season where we get so close and then we just can't do it. You just think we had a season ticket at Wembley? <laughs> <laughs> if we had season tickets at Wembley, we'd be we'd be happy with that result because that's where we're going. That's where we're going again. This this second second place, I kind of see is getting now. I kind of see is getting now. I'm I'm beginning to worry now. I mean. It's just, it seems like we just get that, get so close and we just, we just can't seem to get out over that. What, where, where, it was we're not breaking teams down. We, you, these, all the teams that come up here have one intention, and that's to manage the game, to get a, a draw and pinch a win if they mm -hmm. can. Yeah. But they are quite, they are more than happy coming up here for the draw. Yeah. And at the end of the day, we've got to learn to break these teams down. If you're not going to break these teams on your own ground, when, the, when all you're playing for is a draw, park the bus, whatever you want to call it, if you kind of break them teams down, you're not going to win the league. You're not going to get your points. You're not going to get your... How many points have we lost for doing exactly that? Just not managing the game. Why do you think the problem lies at the players or is it the manager? Well, I'll be honest, when he, when he brought... Uh, 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 took us to took off, and I thought, well, at least he's going to go for it. He brought uh, Simon Young on. Uh, he's going to go for it, but... It's all right, but you've, you've got to manage the game. Yeah, two, be, two one of them. How many times have we seen them up here? They'll come up here and they'll kick the ball from left corner to the right yeah, corner yeah. to the left, and they'll just manage the game. They'll just play for time. Just play for time. Why can't we go do that? It's, it's, what, what, what's the problem? It's three games in the week. I mean, 
he might have won so but it's unforced them to do We've got three games in the week. We've got Bristol Rovers during the week and then we've got who's, who's on ne- next Saturday? Oh, it's Blackpool it's next Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. I mean, we need nine points. Well, that's, that's a, you know. We've got to win the next two games. Next two games, mind. If we don't win the next two games, mind. And I mean win. I don't, don't want draws. Win, if we don't win the next two games, mind, that's it. You can kiss goodbye. We'll hear you for another season. Right, thank you for your time, Ian. Cheers, Cheers Patsy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sunderland 2, Gillingham 2, outside of Steam, like with Ryan. Ryan, that 96 minutes equalising for Gillingham was a right. Kicking um, the teeth, right? Kicking the teeth. It's, it's disheartening, really. Third well should have seen the game out, but unfortunately we didn't, like. So now you can do stuff like that happens in this league, I think, like. This is the fine margin for me, Ryan, is where you, you can get in the top two and you, and you finish the playoffs. And we're getting, like last season, we got so close and we just fell short. Seems like it's happening again, doesn't it? It is, I. Uh, you're right. I mean, Coventry, they're the team last Sunday, you know. The team we had to go out and beat, I thought. And it, we, we didn't play too bad against them either, but if we're not getting results, we're not going to get results by playing, like, especially playing towards the end like that as well. Trying to see the game out when you, you're holding the 1 0 lead. It's, 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 diff- it's difficult in the league like this, very difficult. Like, in, you can say something that happens at the end, 97 minutes. But we can't complain. We've got our draw against Rui Barton's team like that as well, didn't we? Yeah. So. You it's think, tough, like, you it's think tough. Ryan, I mean, obviously, the, the manager, again, he's ma- he made one change, but it was unfortunate. He brought the Lafferty in for, for White. Do you think he needs to make more changes after the defeat? If, if, when you get beat, you make a couple of changes. In the, it, it's, it's the it's time sh- of the changes. I can see players there today struggling at... Like Maguire, I love Maguire myself, don't uh, get us wrong, but 70 minutes, he's pagged. He can't dine out, he's not fast enough. He's uh, brought Semenyo on, uh, and he's down the wing straight away. He's causing bother. Uh, give, the, give the lads time to come on and do something, you know what I mean? Not like... 80 minutes, bring them on a 10 minute cameo, you know what I mean? You're not going to die now in my eyes like that. So. Ryan, what do you think's happening with the defence lately? I mean, we, we, we were building our team on clean sheets. Now it seems like we're just, we're not, we're not, we're kind of keep the clean sheet. What's happened from being solid to being, you know? I don't know, but I don't feel comfortable watching the team at the back unless Jordan Willis is in there. Like without Willis, I think I wouldn't even try to look at stuff like promotion and out like that. Do you think it's, do you think obviously a Billy Wright getting injured, that was a massive yeah, blow? And massive, do you think us, I mean, Hitler's going to point your finger at uh, Ozturk. Do you think that's maybe he's wise, well? I don't know about Ozturk myself. I think he's all right. Not too bad, but... Uh, you know, with the Australian fella getting injured and that, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's difficult, like, it's very difficult, so... I don't know. I don't know. But I wouldn't feel comfortable without Jordan Willis at the back, like, I wouldn't at all. I mean, without him, I think, he, I think he's quality. A bit of strength, pace at the back's what you need, like. So... Star man and quickly Ryan, where are you going? Oh, oh Kyle Lafferty had to be, had to be, you know what I mean? Cheese. Took his goal well. Cheers for your time, you know what I mean? SFA Fan TV, I'm Sean Mitten, I'm Stephen Adam with Dave the Rave. Dave the Rave, the North East number one, Raver. Dave, kill a blow in the 96 minutes. First half was switched off in the first half, average game. The second half was scored like 2 1 a lot commonly there. It was lovely, you mean, and then. And then um, um, they switched off again in the last minute, give a goal in the last minute, gave them to them, and that we should we should have won that game in the last minute. Mm-hmm. And singing that to the, the chances we had and all that, and singing that. Right. After getting beat off company, I think we need to, we need to win the DMA. Uh, Nine games left now. I said before I said before kick I, thought I said before kick before we kick the ball that we had to get eight wins out of the ten. Yeah. Now there's nine games left. It's looking really, really desperate well, now. Um, we've got Bristol Rovers on Tuesday and um, Blackpool Blackpool oh. next week and then um, Southend. We've got to beat them games. If we didn't get away with them game, we might see how the playoffs are the singing or the, or the thing. I wanted to go in the top two, not the playoffs. I don't want the playoffs. So I hope it's the top two and we'll have to play better. Well, I'll have to play better than this if it's a singing that. So, yeah, so much more better because it's keeps, it sometimes it keeps winning. They're too slow what they used to be in that. And the, do you think you need, uh, Parkinson needs to make more changes? I, I think we need to put them Queen, one that Queen part we ended up playing. No one. Yeah, one the, uh, he hasn't played him yet and hasn't played that old one and that. So yeah. we do that old one. So I'm on Critty, do you? Um, Lovely. Lovely. Cheers, dear. Thanks for your time. I see that, dear.